beard and hanging out in the back. Of come on, come, come, come. Now, who's everybody? Can you turn your speakers on so they can hear? Yeah. Hang on. Oh, hi, everyone. We're, we're live. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. All right. Now, can you hear us? Yeah, we're yep. live, by All the right. way, so it's, don't say anything. Got, oh, there's a folding chair. Grab that folding chair, and I'm, let's see. I'm going to move over here. We're live. Good. Hey, everybody. Got Adventures with Purpose here. Sam, Sam, the Adventure Man, Jared. And Doug, tell me who Doug, you are. Doug Bishop. Doug, how are you? Nice to, nice to meet you. Did you really just say, tell me who you are? That's because you told me to act like I'd never seen it. Okay, thanks. You, <laughs> I forgot that part. I say it. <laughs> oh, okay, we solved it. That's all that matters, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> hey, uh, folks, you don't want to miss uh, what we got coming up. And hopefully, can you guys hear okay, uh, Skyler? Can everyone yes. hear? Yes. Okay. Yep. So Doug from Diesel Brothers, we got Adventures for <laughs> Purpose. No, 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 no. I, did, I got that wrong. I've got things. No, Doug from uh, you're you're up in Oregon. Yeah, yeah. Um, down and over in Oregon. Over up, in Oregon. up. Is that right? Up. Yeah. I don't know where we are. Over. Over. over up. Yeah. yeah. So, so, so you know what? Why don't you introduce? Why don't you so, really so here's yeah. the thing. Every time we go out in the public with Mike and he sees somebody with a beard, he's like, "Oh, that's that Diesel Brother guy." He <laughs> like, like. Heavy D or, or Diesel Dave well, yeah, or something? going through my warrants list. And, and, <laughs> and we just play along with it every time. So, yeah, everybody with a beard is Diesel Brothers to Mike here. So. Oh, no. Okay, so now I'm putting it all together. I get it a lot. I get it a lot. Hey, uh, so the rest of you guys, just poke your heads around here so everybody sees who you are. Come on over, Josh. So we have got a huge project coming up in the next couple of days. Well. And Jared, introduce your team. Yes, yeah, so there's a reason why we're here. To, uh, yeah, we have a big project we're going to talk about. We've got Josh back here is on camera. He is, you know, Dan cannot be replaced, but Josh <laughs> is our new camera person. So thank you, Josh, for stepping in. And uh, those of you who did not see Josh on the live stream just a few minutes ago, uh, Josh has new baby Chloe. Yeah. Brand new dad. Yeah. Thank you. On the 4th of July, beautiful little baby. I'm In very yeah, incredible wife at home. And not just him, but, you know, we all have incredible wives at home, except for Andrew. Sorry, Andrew, you don't have but you know, but he's got the support of his dad. So anyway, um, so we we appreciate you know the support of our family at home that allows us to be on the road doing this, and then you know the support of all of you as well. Yeah, and every great man is a great woman. Is this, well, don't no, we're not going to exclude the single people, all right? So Josh has not learned how to say things politically it's correct yet. Oh, that's true. Well, but no, there's. Anyway, anyway, we can go down that road. <laughs> but moving on. We've got Doug Bishop. Thank you for being here. He's been with us since day one on the very first car that we ever did. We've got Andrew, who is Matt's boy, who said, you know what? I got nothing going on. Let me hang out with a bunch of old dudes. And I think well, it was I, the other way around. You, you offered. I did offer, yes. <laughs> we got Matt, who uh, we refer to as Taco Matt. I think that's good. Yeah, Taco, Taco Matt. Taco Matt. Let's see Taco we got Taco Matt. Matt. <laughs> He's got his sombrero hat on. He didn't realize it wasn't Taco Tuesday, but anyway, he brings tacos to us every day of the week, regardless of what day it is. He shows up. We really appreciate I it. I upgraded to your mobile chef. And, and he is playing mobile chef on this oh, one. Oh, he wears multiple hats. And, yeah. we, of course, we got Sam Sam, the Adventure Man, and we are on Mike King's channel, Profiling yes. Evil. Thank you for having us here. And we have something big that we're, we're, we're not really saying what the details details are. But Mike has incredible support. Thank you, sir, for helping to put this together. Because hey. We were supposed to be here a couple of weeks ago, and it got postponed because we're dealing with federal permits that had to be put into place. We're, Crazy. We're playing on a different level here than we have before. And so kind of just bring us up to speed on everything that you've been working on, all the involvement, old law enforcement buddies, friends you haven't seen in a long time, and you made this happen. It it has been it has been crazy and and uh, folks what what happened is about two months ago Jared reached out to me and said there's a case that really troubles me in your neck of the woods and I think we can do some good and we started looking into the case and it's a case of a couple of young men who disappeared years ago and uh, we talked about we looked we looked at some maps we we looked at some areas. And we came up with a couple of places that we thought the Adventures with Purpose guys could really do their thing, which is go down really deep in a really deep lake and look for a couple of boys who disappeared a few years ago and another man who committed suicide a few years ago and his body's never been recovered. 
it happens to be in a federally protected part of a lake. And if you go in there, you're violating federal law. So we had to go through the Bureau of Reclamation. We went to the to the county sheriff of two different counties. We went to the rangers in the parks department. Uh, we went to the uh, Salt Lake City Police Department. And we brought all these people together. And we're going to go try to find a couple bodies. Yeah. Yeah. So we have four miles of shoreline, um, roughly, that we need to search in a lake that's normally, you know, 160, 170, 80 feet deep, but because the water level is down so much, this now brings it within our, yeah. you know, recreational diving limits that we can get down into without any serious, you know, deep compression or anything else that we have to deal with, you know, as divers. But in addition to that is, you know, this new piece of equipment that we have, you know, we it's referred to as a tow fish. So it's not our normal sonar equipment that we have. You want to turn that a little bit more that way? Um, so it's not our normal sonar that we have on the boat. Um, to where, you know, it's really good to, our on-boat sonar is really good to 40, 45, 55 feet or so. But anytime we get over that, it becomes a lot more difficult. And even though we used it in Colorado, like on the snowcat, it was really difficult to even locate the snowcat. But it was doable at 80 feet deep with a large mass object like that. But with this tow fish, it allows us to drop it down up to 100 feet. So that way we're right on the bottom, which then brings us back within that 20-foot range but it's incredible for scanning and it's as though we're using the top side book sonar and you know, it has like red and blues and overlaps and tracking and oh, it's so incredible. So thank you to Atlas North America for donating. Wow, I'll that say. And, and, and we're talking like a 40, $50,000 unit that was donated to us, you know, for the greater good. And this is coming back to everybody coming together for the greater good of the mission of, you know, that's what's so amazing about this one to me is that we, we went to the Weber County Sheriff and asked for help from his team. We uh, went to the Morgan County Sheriff and asked for help from his team. We uh, went to the Ogden City Police Department and said, we need your drones and we need your people. And, and when they heard that this was either a murder case or an accident, mm -hmm. they were all in. And, uh, and this is really exciting because we don't know, this could still be a murder case. Well, in, in fact, your my understanding is the new current sheriff didn't even know about this case, or what's the didn't know the, about this particular one. No. So even though it's in his county, yep. So we brought we brought this one to their attention. Yeah. So we're going to be covering a lot of lake. We're gonna we're gonna be pulling some vehicles that we think are in there out as part of all of this, and and maybe a boat if I can. And get enough time from you to get a boat off the bottom. And, and tomorrow, yeah, and so tomorrow we're going to make the announcement as to where we're actually at because yeah. on Wednesday will be an open open invitation to come join us. But tomorrow we have just so much work work that we're doing that we have to say, you know, even if you know where we're at, please don't come up because we just need full, our team that we have, we just need to stay focused and we don't have time to just be hanging and socializing and like this is this is work. We're here to help this family, families. You know, potentially find the answer we've been looking for all these years, um, but we don't mind letting you letting everybody know the following day or tomorrow evening. We'll do a live stream and we'll let everybody know where we're at. So if you're in the area and you want to come up and hang out on shore and be a part of it, you know, we're more than happy to you know have you in the area because you are a part of this and we'd love to involve you as much as we can. We won't be able to do a live stream up there because there's just like a not enough uh, internet service. Um, but we're going to slip out at the end of the day. Yeah. Yep. We'll either go to the sheriff's office or we'll come back here yep. and do a little bit of a recap, right? Yep. And kind of let people know what, if, if we think there's something worth following up on. Yep. Well, it sounds like there is no matter what. Like, no matter what, we're going to pull a boat out, vehicle, but hopefully, you know, we're going to be able to solve this. And that's going to be our main focus on yeah. Wednesday is the recovery of. And so that was the word, what we're uh, really here for. We're not here to just hang out with Mike. Well, um, I find that really which, troubling. Uh, but, no, I was which, by the way, if uh, I mean, if you've been on, if, if you've been on uh, Mike's uh, channel for any time, you do, you do need to know that every episode that he does now is sponsored by it. He's required by under his contract to make sure that you mention Dr. <laughs> no sugar. So, hey, I want you to know that the DP folks are actually sending drinks out for your team to yes. to uh, consume tomorrow. So. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> there, there yeah. you go. Really did, did we have the sponsorship part of it? I, I think you did great. Okay. Here's here's what we want to keep people advised up too. Hopefully tomorrow we can talk about this some more. 
is one of these boys that we hope to find has never been declared dead. And I've talked to the family and promised that Profiling Evil and Adventures with Purpose would help them not only get a spot in a stone, but that we'd help with the legal process of getting them declared dead so that they can get some form of closure in that regard. So this is a pretty special event for a couple of families that are going to be with us tomorrow yeah. too. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. So everything we do, I mean, it really means a lot to us that all of you have put us in this position to be here right here, right now today, because without it, you know, I would have never met Mike. You know, and I would have never met. No, I wouldn't. Have, I would never. Maybe. Yeah, no, I doubt it. <laughs> Sam and I would have never met, and Doug and I would have never met. And yeah, it's just it's just amazing how the world works. Yeah, it is. Yep, you guys are doing the you right know. thing, and we're just so thrilled. Yep. I know the back office is actually going to even come out and work. Oh, wow. so we're going to get the back Listen, office to actually do some work. Not just the back office, but this guy as well. I've never seen him like outside of it <laughs> this will be good for him i want you just to make sure you have your dark sunglasses yeah, you wear a button up still yeah. or i might i might put on actually a t-shirt i have my profile t-shirt you've got you got t-shirts wait but, i need one but you know cool <laughs> but, but i don't want to stop there it's not just mike it's not just law enforcement it's you know it's the other volunteers you know it's everybody's a part of awp but we also have you know an incredible organization that's coming out to help out they're bringing their boat out tomorrow. They're coming out on Wednesday with their, you know, their big record to help out and their knowledge of pulling things out of the water. And it's going to be a Diesel Brothers. So we really appreciate, you know, them for stepping up to the plate as well, saying, you know, Jared, we love what is you're doing. Yes, we're on board. And that's just the power of good people coming together to you're do not good Diesel things. Brothers. So, so thank you to, uh, you know, Dave and Dave and, you know, your entire crew. Yeah, we're thrilled about that. Plus, we also have... They're, they're probably not watching your show, though. I'm just going to be honest. Yeah, well, you. they will be soon. All right. And uh, yeah. we also have a local record company, Stoffer Towing, yeah. who manages all the 18-wheelers that roll over on the freeways. They're going to come out. So they're donating their time for a couple of days to come out. They're actually going to come out tomorrow to help us just assemble a big old piece of metal we got to get through. Right, and, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, like, we're, we're kind of we're kind of breaking into this protected area <laughs> with permission now because I did tell Mike because Mike said, you know, Jerry, what happens if you don't get permission? I'm like, Mike, you probably shouldn't be asking me certain things because sometimes late at night I just might go do certain things so that way I can get the answers inside of my head and I can just be like, you know what, I can tell you that there's nothing there. Don't ask me how I know, but at the end of the day, I would have gotten the answer. Well, I'm the cool part is I know how many sheriff's deputies are going to be there, so I'd at least have backup in in the arrest that would happen. So, <laughs> And the great thing is I think that we have an incredible audience, so whatever bell money I Oh, get, yeah, you got that part. We've covered, got that yeah. covered, too, and all the bell money just goes to your guys' pizza parties anyway, right? Law enforcement pizza parties. Oh, yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's a win-win for everyone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm just kidding, yeah. We're, Hey, so he's not kidding. Wait, you know what? <laughs> we got a swag swap, don't we? Is that what we're doing? I oh, how did that one get in there? You can't have that one. Uh, yeah, I have. How, some did, stuff how, how do you know? It was a surprise. Yeah. Because he walked in with a box. Every time I see him with a box, I know. Yeah. Because yeah. I got something sure, planned for you guys too. Oh, you did. Huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. 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 I didn't hear. Oh, uh, the back office is on the call. All right. Look, your back office is holding up my own swag that they're going to swap my swag for my oh, swag. Yeah. And we, oh, yeah. Yeah. We, we, no, we sell your swag <laughs> for our projects. Okay. <laughs> so, so you just sell it. Yeah. So, those of you. Those How much are, can I get for this yeah, one? Yeah, we, we got Dr. Phil Mugs. Do you have Dr. Yeah. Phil Mugs? I don't, but here's, here's the thing. <laughs> so, those of you who don't know, we do sell swag. So, that way, it is the way that we help fund our endeavors here. So, Thank you for that. Those those of those of you who do not understand how all this works, this is how we're really <laughs> Thank you very much. Um. Anyway, I do have some swag for you though. I have like a whole bunch of swag for you. And listen, Tyler and Skyler, this yep. time Man make sure hats. make sure that he hands this stuff out to you this time because I heard that you guys didn't get any of it last time. Well, no, I have my shirt. I'm just waiting to see I got who it. pays me more, which is which shirt I'm going to wear tomorrow. Okay. So oh, there's something on the side. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, right. so do you have to wear it on the side? Yeah, that's how you, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, how you, you wear it. You, you wear it. <laughs> so you can put all yeah. our cool things. Hey, Ma yeah, so Mama Bear, Mama Bear just gave a great donation to help us with this tomorrow. Thank you. Oh so much. my goodness, thank, thank you, so you much, Mama Bear. Bear. That's awesome. Thank you. So, so the pins that you guys have, Tyler and Skyler, uh, those pins go on the hat, so that way you can oh, look sweet. really cool wearing 
you know, your pins on the hats. You can this dress them up however. Very you. exciting. Those and are cool hats. Where, and where would they get this stuff? Well, they could, they would go right to your website, and there they could get all the swag in the world. That's right. Adventures Purpose. And the cool part is all of it. I'll put it all in the description. So yeah, that'd guys... be great. You can get that, or you can get your profiling evil swag. But the cool part is, you'd know that it's going to help pull some things off, like this thing. And I love, by the way, the little uh, life preserver things. Yeah, that would, that's a good one. Yeah. yeah so so yeah, the new some new three D magnets. Here, like, yeah. So you got uh, yeah, a life. As, uh, as soon uh, as we hang bag. up, I'm coming over to get my stuff. Yeah, which one you want? You want the lift, the lift <laughs> bag? We got a uh, red. Now, I want you to know device. my yeah. What's Your Purpose shirt it is truly one of those shirts that causes people to actually it talk is. to you. Yeah. So you did well on that. Yeah. 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 Don't. Yeah. Don't get those if uh, you're an introvert. So yeah. anyway, head over there. We got like oh, 11, thanks. Eleven or twelve different magnets. But anyway, it's, it's this is not the, the QVC show. So well, hope hope you guys will show. all push and support these guys. And by the way, I hope you're all subscribing to our channel. Uh, we we do try to do a couple things that are pretty nice. But I want you to reach over your shoulder and grab for the team books. Listen, so I want to hear first, Sam. Did you ever finish it? I want the truth. No. All right. So do I even want to give you something you do, new you or do, you do, do you I? You do. You, okay. So I, I, I read your book. He did. It was an incredible book. And those of you who have not picked up Mike's um, Deceived, um, Zion Cult Society, something or other. Did I get Close it? Close enough. Yeah. yeah. In incredible story. I, I loved every minute of it. I couldn't put it down. Um, my wife was like, hey, come to dinner. And I'm like, I can't. I'm reading Mike's book. <laughs> well, so, so that's your commitment. I want that read right. before we talk next. All right. Well, it, we'll be talking tomorrow. Yeah, so, yeah. But it's, it's, it's yeah. <laughs> so, and here's here's the thing also is that Mike promised me, hey, Jerry, you know what? I, you know, if you read my book, I can get you on the Dr. Phil show. So comment down below. <laughs> Who would love to see us on the Dr. Phil show? Because he's on there like at least two or three times a week. Well, apparently, I'm holding up the show since I haven't read it yet, so I got to start reading. Yeah, it. well, that's yeah, that's exactly what they said. So, guys, new book was released last week or the week before. The place we're going has to deal exactly with this book. Now, this book is called "She Knew No Fear." Wait, like where we're actually going? Where though? we're going? Yep. This week. This week. It has to do with that body of Tomorrow water? has to do with this book oh, wow. in part. Did you write this in the last two weeks just Did because you, you knew that we no, were coming? No, I wrote this in the last 20 years. <laughs> okay. But we just published it in two weeks ago. And, and I don't so you all have a copy of this. And this book is about the murder of a woman in 1891. Like? In, nope. In southern Utah. Okay. In Monticello. Uh, and... Uh, she was murdered on Centennial Day, July 24th, or Utah um, Statehood Day, July 24th, 1891. And this happens to be my great great grandmother. Oh, wow. And uh, all my life, I heard about her journey from Scotland. She came across, walked across the plains with the Mormon pioneers. She walked down through where we're going tomorrow. In fact, the boat ramp that we're going to be launching on, they walked, that used to be a trail. Okay. And uh, and then she was part of what's called the Hole in the Rock, which is the most um, yeah, my mom. terrifying, uh, no, in, in the Grand Escalante Staircase, okay. most terrifying uh, pioneering event in history where they lowered uh, 2,000 head of cattle 2,000 feet down a sheer cliff. Oh, wow. And then built a wall into the side of the cliff because they got stranded by snow. And they used poles and drilled holes in the wall and built a road down the side of the cliff to go to the Four Corners area. But I heard about this when I was a boy from my grandfather, who was her grandson. And I thought, I spent a career in law enforcement. I need to look into this. And it took 10 years, but I solved her murder. Oh, so wow. that book is about wow. that. So to wow. each of you, wait. So this is a, like so this. This, the, this is this a real story. So this is the oldest murder you've ever solved. Oh no no, uh, I've uh, solved. Oh King Tut. Uh, yeah uh, yeah. King Tut. So, <laughs> how how <laughs> did I forget about King Tut? I mean I got to hear about two King Tut every time he yeah. calls me. <laughs> Three times about a day. King Tut. Anyway, boys, this is for you. We can sign it tomorrow or something Thank if you, you want it. But I uh, I hope you like it, and uh, I am. I am, in behalf of the PE team and the back office who's sitting here, so thrilled that you would come. And if nothing else, we're able to give two families, maybe three, 
some closure in at least an area uh, that they have spent decades trying to solve the disappearance of their kids. And, and I'm going to say this is probably the first and only real search that has ever taken place. Like of, I'm, of this area. kind. Yep. Yeah. Because I mean, I, I understand that, you know, law enforcement over the years is, you know, kind of, but you know, like they said, just looked at the case. Yeah. Yeah. They, yeah, they and interviewed passing. witnesses and yeah. And then my understanding also is that, you know, there's been some others that have reached out to help the family, but it's really, you know, the Mickey mouse type of an operations that have, you know, looking for clout. I, I don't, I'm not going to call them out as to who they are, but you know, that really upsets me and, and it's upset the family as well. And this, we find that this happens across the entire U S that too many people reach out to these families for their own clout to be a part of something then, but they don't actually ever do anything to, yeah. you know, provide real answers for these families. So, so I'm going to say in their defense, so because that's what I always do is the equalizer Yeah, is in their defense. Their heart is in the right place. I, I hope that the ideals were right. The difference is you guys come in with not only a sixth sense, you come in with equipment and know-how that a lot of people don't have. Because even this equipment you talked about that you're going to be putting in the water tomorrow, there are not many people in the United States that have this. Yeah. So we got to keep that in mind, too, that their heart's yeah. in the right place and they were trying to do the right thing, I hope. Um, and uh, mm, I feel like they tried to undercut us and they and they have refused to even reach out to us and work with us. So I'm am I bitter about it? Absolutely. <laughs> but not, not that I wanted them to work with us, just that it's the way that they went yeah. about it. So tomorrow night we're gonna we're gonna fill everybody in on it. We're gonna have family members join us, I think, and yes. talk. And uh, and, and they've been, already been incredible to work with them. Yeah, they have. You know, every family we come in, we want to help give them the answers. And no matter what, they're gonna have answers of yes or no in this lake within the next two days. Now I'm gonna tell you one other thing I haven't told you yet. These boys disappeared about four houses from my high school and my neighborhood. Wow! Oh, wow! So I drove by the old neighborhood the other day. I went and took pictures of their house. And uh, we'll get that uh, for your team to show some pictures of their home. We're going to put some stuff out too. But, uh, but yeah, it's kind of fun because the people that they knew, I knew. Wow. And, uh, and uh, these boys were younger than me. But uh, it's still pretty cool to, to yeah. be doing something it, in the backyard. It really is a small world. Yeah. You know? So... <laughs> Okay. So, folks, I love these guys, and uh, I'm just thrilled. Last time they crashed my party, and it was a blast to have them here, to have you back and in my home. That's really special. Thank you. Yeah, yeah it's good to and be here. That's the neighbors sure. are probably calling the police about all the equipment that's filled up my driveway. And, <laughs> and uh, I'm thrilled about that. Are, are we supposed to read this out loud right now? No, 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 no. <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> On that note. Yeah. Uh, I, I got a question for you. All right. I'm going to ask it off camera, though, just in case the, uh, it's not the answer. I'm, it's, I'm, I think I know what the answer is, but I'm going to ask it off camera. So, you know what? All right. Then I think we're done. On that note. Thanks for being here. <laughs> we'll, we'll see you some... tomorrow night. That's right. Later, later. Oh. <laughs> Get your bye -bye. shirts at AWP. Later, later. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thanks, everybody.